now please go wild for your final act, the brilliant Pax Society! Hello! Hello Australia, how you doing? You doing good? That's good. I'm from New Zealand. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for letting me into your country. It's a nice country. Um, I've been checking out your Melbourne sites. You have lovely Melbourne sites. I went and saw uh, Melbourne Zoo to just see a zoo. You've got good animals. I went and um, saw Federation Square. It's a nice square. It's the best square I've seen. Um, <laughs> went and saw um, Melbourne International Airport Interrogation Room. <laughs> it's good, you should go, man. It's good. You get a lollipop and a finger in your bum. <laughs> they found nothing! <laughs> good prostate as well. <laughs> What's your name, sir? What's your name? John. Joel, good to meet you, Joel. Hey, before I go on, Joel. Dope white name, Joel. Solid, solid white name, man. It's a top shelf white name. Are you employed, Joel? Damn straight you are with that kind of name. That's a, that's a job getting name, Joel. <laughs> Do you want to know my full name is Joel? Pax Rahani Ziyari Asadi. Have I ever had a job interview, Joel? <laughs> Fuck your life, Joel. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm happy here, I'm happy here, Joe. I'm kidding, I'm teasing you. But uh, look, I make fun of you for it being easier to get a job if you have a white sounding name, right? And I have proof it exists, it really does exist. Because my dad came to New Zealand in the 80s as a refugee from Iran, right? Looking for a better life for him, his wife, his soon to be children. <laughs> and he struggled to get a job. He has a very ethnic sounding name, he's a very traditional Iranian name, right? His name is Afnon. And that's Afnon, that's the proper pronunciation, Afnon. <laughs> People don't realize this, but you have to have the A in the Afnon. <laughs> because A is actually a letter in Iran, no joke. It's A, B, C, D, A, F, G. <laughs> H, I, J, K. <laughs> so. <laughs> if you didn't laugh at that, get the fuck out right now. Cause that's the funniest joke I've ever written in my entire life. Do you understand me? <laughs> Looks for a job. Can't get a job. Forget a job. Can't get an interview. Spends months looking for an interview. Can't get an interview. Changes his name to a white name. Gets a job in the first week. Isn't that sad, Joel? Isn't that a sad fact? Do you know what's even sadder than that? To this day, if you ask my dad where he's from, he'll still hide his Iranian identity. Isn't that sad? To this day, if you say, Afnan, where are you from? He'll say he's Italian. <laughs> With a very thick Middle Eastern accent. <laughs> he's like, this is my son, Pax Rahani Ziyari Asadi, and my name is Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Ferrari number one, ah, hula Ferrari. <laughs> Genoki is my favorite food. I love Genoki. <laughs> you like Genoki? I cook you genoki now, you want genoki? I make it with lamb. <laughs> lamb? Honestly, it's good. <laughs> Before I came to Australia though, people were like, Pax, don't go there, don't go to Australia, you don't need to do comedy there. It's racist over there, it's a racist country. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> Because the last time I was here, I was in Brisbane, right? I was walking down the road in your shithouse country, and <laughs> I don't give a fuck. And, <laughs> and this car drove past me, and, this win and his window wound down, and he stuck his head out and yells, you smell like curry, <laughs> right? Weirdly, my first thought was, well, there's a lot of curries out there, mate. Be specific, which one are we talking? <laughs> is it a korma, is it a Rogan Josh? Better not be a butter chicken, because that's a white person's curry, and I'm in touch with my culture, all right? <laughs> and then after I got over there, I got mad. I got mad, because that's a hurtful thing to say. And the reason that's hurtful is because the only purpose for that comment is to make me, is to remind me that I'm different to the mainstream, right? That's the only reason you would say that. 
Because I've spent my life in ethnic limbo. And if you don't know what ethnic limbo is, ethnic limbo is where you don't fully belong anywhere, right? You don't fully belong in New Zealand. You have your friends and you have a good childhood, but you don't fully 100% belong. And then you go to Pakistan to visit your mum's family. Uh, well, my family also, but... <laughs> you visit your family and you don't belong there either because to them, you're a Westerner, right? You're a white person, just without the perks. And... <laughs> And it sucks. It sucks to, to be like that. And it sucks for someone to remind you of that fact, right? Because here's the thing. If you try to make fun of someone in Pakistan, they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They're in Pakistan. They're in the country that everyone looks like them. They, they have a strong identity as to who they are. Like if you were in Pakistan, you were like, Oi, curry mancha. They'd be like, yes, I love to munch curry. How can I help you? <laughs> How you know I love curry? Wow. Detective. Wow. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, you following me? <laughs> Sucks, right? The other reason why I got mad is because it's untrue. It's an untrue stereotype, right? It's fake. It's not real. Like, we don't. South Asian people don't smell like curry. Like, none of us are having a curry bath before we go to work. Do you know what I mean? There's no curry scented cologne. Like, you're never gonna be watching TV and a Bollywood star comes on and he's like, the new scent from Hugo Boss. Curry. <laughs> For the man that isn't Rogan joshing around. <laughs> and that's literally the funniest line you'll ever hear and fuck you if you didn't laugh. <laughs> the main reason though, why it infuriates me is because South Asian people are the only ones that get that insult, right? South Asian, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, that region of the world, we're the only ones that get it. You smell like curry. No one else gets it, and that's annoying. Why are we the ones that get that, right? Like Mexican people never get, oh, you smell like tacos. <laughs> Chinese people never get, oh, you smell like soy sauce. <laughs> White people never get, oh, you smell like everyone else's ethnic food. <laughs> Your food's shit, Joel, is what I'm trying to say. Your food's shit. <laughs> My name's Back Society, guys. Come to my show. Have a good night. Give it up, Back Society!